you're definitely going to want your own project templates. So let's go out and identify how you can manage project templates, which means you can change them, you can create them, and you can delete them as well. So let's pop into Business Contact Manager. And it doesn't really matter where you are, as long as project management is selected, you could be on one of these tabs, it doesn't matter. But what you want to be able to do is find the button that says Manage Project Templates. Manage Project Templates, and it's on the Home tab and the ribbon segment, the group called Project Templates. So Manage Project Templates, remember, if you're under Project Management, it's going to be there. And then Manage Project Templates, and here's a list of existing templates. So these are existing templates that are in this particular database. And I'm using the sample database, the demo database from Microsoft for Business Contact Manager. So they created these. Microsoft created these. I want to show you how to create your own. So what I want to do is click New. And when I select New, you figure it out from scratch. So what I want to do here, this is my follow-up on a hot prospect. So we're going to call this follow-up hot hot prospect. And the project type, we're going to drop this down. And I, I, if you can't see what you want on here, then you could create your own. But I already created it right here. Follow up on sales opportunity. So I'm going to choose follow up on sales opportunity. And then the project duration, how many days generally are you going to attach to this? Well, I'm going to attach, if I don't have this accomplished in 15 days, 16 days, I'm really behind. So I'm going to say, 16 days, and then the priority, you can set a priority if you want to, but I'm not going to set a priority on this one. All right, so you could stop there. You could stop there because that's all you want, and then you want the individual project task to be independently entered. But I, I know that there are some things that I want to have happen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the New button, and I'm going to sign the project task. So the first thing that's going to happen is I want to be sure that this account gets a phone call. So start after zero days. The day this project starts, we're going to call this account, and we have one day to accomplish that task. One day to do it. Now, you could set up attention required if you wanted to. You could put a reminder on this if you want to. You absolutely could do that if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and say, OK. So call account happens. The subject is call the account. It starts on the first day. So start after zero days, and the duration is one day. So then you go on to the next one. And the next one is send catalog via email. Now, I want to send a catalog via email and via the Postal Service, but I want to make these two separate tasks because I might accomplish one but not accomplish the other. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself one day to do that. So it'll start after one day, but it only lasts one day. So send catalog via email. I'm going to highlight this. Whoops, I'm going to highlight this and hit control C on my keyboard to make my next task a little bit faster. And then we'll say OK. And my next task, my next new task, control V on my keyboard. So I had, move this over so we make sure I don't repeat. I sent it via email via postal service. And this starts after one day, and I'm going to give myself one day to accomplish that task. And then my next one is going to be send thank you email. And the thank you email, I'm going to give myself till the second day to accomplish that, but then it has to be done on the second day. So now I'm sending the thank you email, and I definitely want to follow up within seven days. So I want this to start on day seven, and I get one day to accomplish. Now, all of my tasks are things that I need to accomplish on a specific day, but this might be something that takes a long time. Like maybe what you're doing here is searching for a new location. You probably can't do that in one day, because you'll have to go out and about and look and drive and call. And, but my situation here is these are things that can happen very, very quickly. So I get a one for each one of these for the duration. And then the last one, because you don't need to watch me type, is this one is going to be follow up. And I just want to say it the same way I did here. So follow up. And I should have copied and pasted, right? So I didn't have to type. But follow up within 14 days. So this is going to start on day 14. And I have to also get this done in one day. So you see the idea? You are simply going to start creating step by step all the processes that you need to have happen in your project. 
That way the tasks are going to be listed at the bottom of the project for you. Once you're finished, you simply say, OK. So now I have my new project, follow up on Hot Prospect. The duration is 16 days. And the type is, you can't see it out there, but you know what it says. It's the follow up. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Close. And now let's use this. New business project, create project from template. I'll drop down my arrow here, follow up Hot Prospect. Project name, we'll call this Erase Me because we're going to throw this one away. You have to link it to someone or something, otherwise it won't let you create it. We'll go ahead and start that today. And we'll say OK to that. And so now you can see that at the bottom of the screen, here are my tasks. Here are the things that I've said have to happen. So on the 18th, do this. On the 19th, do these two things. On the 20th, do this. Keep going. By the 25th, make sure you follow up. Let's resize this so we can read them. Follow up within seven days. And the bottom one, follow up within 14 days. So now those are my tasks. Those are the things that I need to accomplish in order to follow through on this particular business project. So you see, all you have to do is identify what your project needs to include. And then you can quickly and easily make your own project template. It's quite simple to do it as long as you know that anywhere you find managed templates is where you're going to go to actually create your project. Now let me close out of here, and let's go to Business Projects, and the one that says Erase Me, I'll just highlight that and hit Delete on my keyboard, because I really don't want to keep that around. OK, now let's go back to Manage Project Templates. And in Manage Project Templates, if you had something that you made a mistake on, you click on the project, and you see you have Edit. So you can click on Edit, and you can go back into your template, and you can fix whatever it is you messed up on. Same here. You can select a task. You can choose Edit, Copy, delete, or you can add new tasks in this area. So you can easily edit any problem that you might have found. Let me close out of that. Also, you could delete. So if there is some type of a project template that you're not using, you just hit the delete button. Or if one is very similar to another one, for instance, you already have the trade show template set up, but you have a different type of a trade show, you want to be very specific about it, then you could just copy this template and then utilize that template to create a new one. Or look right here, create project. While you're in here, you can create a new project right here from this location. So thankfully, it's quite easy to create a project template. All you have to know, let me click the X to get out of here, is that you start right here with manage project templates. And the manage project templates will open the dialog box for you. Now before I leave, I want to talk quickly about this one because this one says create a template. So it says, create a project template from the selected business project. So whichever project that I have selected here, when I click on Create Template, it's going to create a template of that same type, the very exact same type. So you can do that if you want to. But if you want to have full control, I recommend doing this option, Manage the Project Templates. So get out there. Create your own templates so that when you're ready to do a project, the template is there ready and waiting for you. And all you have to do is fill in the missing pieces.